Good day, Cancer, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for August 12th to the 18th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Nine of Diamonds. Eight of Clubs. Eight of Spades. And the Queen of Spades. Okay, so your general energy is the Queen of Spades. A warning. You have an instigator coming in. Uh, now, in this position, you can be the instigator, and you're probably wondering, well, how the hell could I be an instigator against myself? Well, you can self-sabotage, you know. You can self-sabotage your life around you, and that's how you can be your own instigator. Uh, so, But this can also be somebody else. Uh, they're very resentful of you, and they want to throw a monkey wrench in your plans, in your life, period. Uh, they do not want to see you do whatever it is that you're going to be doing uh, this week or get what you're going to get this week, right? Uh, you need to know all the facts about this person, even if it's you. You know, you need to know why. Why would you self-sabotage yourself? Um, or you need to know about the other person, you know, why they're doing what they're doing, who they are exactly, you know. Uh, that way you have ammunition when you go and uh, confront them about what they're doing, you know, uh, why they're instigating, why they're trying to throw monkey wrenches into your plans. Uh, now, remember, this can be a younger person, too. Uh, younger people get very, very resentful, and they become big instigators when you start doing stuff that takes time away from them, right? So keep that in mind. At the uh, beginning of the week, you have the Nine of Diamonds, a wish fulfillment. Through hard work, you will have wealth and financial abundance, uh, but you need to know your worth and accept your worth and have other people respect your worth, right? Uh, so you might not, you might not feel so confident in your worth, you know, and what you are worthy of doing and whatnot. So, but then again, right here, this could be you instigating. This could be you uh, telling yourself that you're not worth, you know, that you're worthless and whatnot, and that you're not worthy of doing whatever this is that could bring you uh, wealth and financial abundance. So, Keep that in mind. Right here could be one of the monkey wrenches if it's you, you know. Uh, other than that, if it's not you, it could be somebody else. Maybe you got a new job coming in and this person, like, doesn't want, want to see you work this job. Uh, perhaps it comes in in uh, the way of them and they don't like it and they're going to try to bring down your worth, you know, and they're going to be sneaky about it. You, you know, they're not going to be, it's not going to be blunt. It's going to be sneaky, most likely. I mean, maybe it'll be blunt from certain people, but for a lot of you, it's going to be sneaky to where they just think that you don't have worth, that you're not worthy of whatever this new job is or whatever it is that's coming in. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, be careful of, of the people around you because there is someone that does not want you to do good, and that can be you. Uh, in the middle of the week, you have the Eight of Clubs. Uh, compromise. So, yeah, you're going to be making a compromise with somebody. This can be anybody, really. I mean, uh, it, it pertains to love the most, like a lover, like your partner. But it can be anybody, it can be a friend, it can be a business partner, it can be a family member, whatever. And it's neither good or bad, it just is what it is, it's just a compromise, you know, both will benefit in some way, right? Uh, but be aware, make sure that you don't get the short end of the stick, okay, because that might happen, and you need to be aware of it. But if you do find the short end of the stick, like you're, you're getting the short end of the stick, do not confront this person in anger, right? You want to confront them cool and calm, regardless if you know for a fact that they 
gave you the short end of the stick on purpose. doesn't matter. If you come at them aggressively, they're going to come at you aggressively, and then the whole compromise might not even happen. And I feel like with this card popping up, I really feel like you need this compromise to happen. So, cool and calm. And when they say, oh, I didn't realize that, and it pops in your head or something, oh, bullshit, you did. No. No, no, no. Do not let that anger come through. You keep cool and calm so that you can get this compromise figured out. Because uh, I just really think that you need this done. Uh, at the end of the uh, week, false fears. <coughs> yeah, you're having false fears. Uh, possibly about this again, about your worth, you know, and again, I feel like that's the instigator throwing the monkey wrench in there, and these are false fears, these are absolutely false fears, you need to act now, act against those fears, and do whatever it is that you're fearing, okay, fear not, okay, and I really feel like it's this, I feel for a lot of you, it's a job, it's a new job, this person doesn't like that it's getting in their way, and they're causing you to think that you're not worth it, and causing you false fears, and all that good stuff, right? So, really nip that person in the bud when you figure out who they are. They will be pe people that are just basically messing with your head about whatever this new thing is. Uh, that's going on. There's no card saying there is a new thing. That's just what I'm feeling is that there's a new job or something. Something's going to take up your time and this, and this person does not like it. That's how I feel. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Yeah. Yeah. You've got the uh, Page of Pentacles. Now, on the Page of Pentacles, he's looking into the Pentacle uh, deeply, right? And trying to figure out how it all works. And that's what you kind of need to do right now, is you need to focus deeply on the people, what the people around you are saying to you, and, and who it is that's working against you. Who is it that's keeping your worth, keeping you down here, believing you're not worthy? Who's the one causing the false fears and really, you know, calculate how that all works and how you can fix it. Oh, this can also be this too. Uh, you know, the compromise, realizing, you know, analyzing it and, and seeing that you're going to get, you know, the short end of the stick. So I would just say that the uh, cards are saying, Make sure to analyze everything around you. Make sure to break it down so that you can see all the pieces and see how it's working and what's happening. You know, know all the facts about this person before you confront them and all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's just a time to be very um, uh, uh, watchful and uh, kind of puzzle solving because that's kind of what this is going to be. You know, this person, like I said, is going to be sneaky. Uh, they're going to be sneaking on the monkeys, monkey wrenches that they throw at you, you know, and it's going to be all about your mental, you know, your, your worth and, and fears and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, this is, you know, and here they could also, they could also make you mad. Like you might end up talking to this person about this compromise and they might make you angry and have you go to this person, uh, upset. So be careful of that too. They could be, you know, somebody that would do that to you because they're, they're trying to throw a monkey wrench in your plans. And I feel like the compromise does have something to do with the hard work. So there you go. I hope this resonates. I hope it helps in some way. And if it does hit that like button, and if you would please comment, share, and subscribe, I hope to see you back here next week. And until then stay safe, stay mindful and stay healthy.